Dani Haymans and uh, I'm the Robotics Program Manager at Care for Education. It's involved in many things, but effectively we have uh, Township Robotics Projects that I manage, there's Outreach Robotics, and then there's uh, the World Robot Olympiad competitions, which I'm the national organizer for. And uh, so we establish those on a provincial and national basis and try and get as many teams to participate as possible through the World Robot Olympiad uh, to expand the participation base of the learning of robotics and STEM uh, to then go out and take product to science centers and schools in rural areas and uh, eventually hopefully try and get them involved in competitions as well. And I train the teachers and the volunteers at those science centers and schools. Robotics and what we do, especially in, in the environment that we work in, these are kids who have never really experienced robots at all. I mean, we are not just talking about the kids get a laptop and play with robots. We first have to teach them how to use a laptop, how to use a mouse, how to use all of these different things that they're going to be using so that they can actually program these little things to drive them around. Every child is curious and inquisitive. I certainly was, and that's why I moved into the engineering field. Because I didn't, when I saw something, I wanted to know how, how it worked. So I got into trouble lots because I was opening things I should never open to see, <laughs> to see the mechanizations inside. And, um, you know, I think from, a, from, an, edu from, a, from an educator's perspective, uh, I think when we do the training is to encourage, encourage the trainers, okay, to prompt and, and lead that inquisitiveness and curiousness by not giving answers but asking questions. The children of today advance and they jump so, and they move so quickly ahead with technology because they're fearless. And they're fearless. I mean, I'm, you know, 10 years ago, I was still nervous about pushing the wrong button on my keyboard for my stand up PC because everything was going to crash. You know, they do it and see what's going to happen. In my opinion, some of the core mm, topics that within Care for Education you would have one is care, care and fun in education. Okay, and it doesn't matter what age group you're talking to. You know, I, I basically, when I train, when I train teachers and volunteers and students, etc., I'm training, I'm training uh, adults, okay, who, when they have that robot and that, and that coding platform in front of them, become children, you know. So um, I think that's, that's the wonder of it. See it going for us and what I love about it is that it just grows every year. There's more schools that want to get on board, there's more um, stuff from government coming out about how they want to get more involved in this robotics and this virtual space and coding space, which is where I see our robotics programs going is towards more of the big school sort of space rather than what we had as a small project. It's now flowered into these big projects that are going all over SA. You know, the interest and the benefit is in education and trying to guide trying to guide youngsters in any way that you can and find a way because not every way is the same for everybody find a way to assist a child to to find a, their own way to actually get around a problem and and move forward because we want them to be excited about how they grow and their future okay and also um, pray you know things you Everybody does, there's always, there's always something positive to comment about when anybody does anything. Even if you haven't reached your goal or you haven't got the total points, you know, you're getting something right. And it's, it's a question of getting all those little things right to eventually get a, you know, a, a, the confidence builder, the positivity, the good feeling about yourself. It's fun, it's educational and just allows people, children to basically explore this world of coding in this virtual space, which for me is exciting being in love with science and physics, it's a really awesome thing to get involved in.